Oh Iceland, what an amazing place and what a journey. But let's rewind a couple of weeks. We started in Germany and drove straight to Denmark to catch the ferry to Iceland. We had two days in Denmark and the weather was just perfect. We spent most of the time on the beaches that you are allowed to drive on and witness the most beautiful sunsets. The next day we hiked to the largest sand dune in Northern Europe, a place that I have never expected to find here. Endless shapes and structures form a play of shadow and light in the low sun. And with no other soul around, we only heard the quiet sound of sand grains slowly being shifted by the wind. We boarded the ferry to Iceland, passed the cloudy Faroe Islands and arrived to the east. The sun doesn't really set during summer, so the night felt like a fairy tale, especially with low clouds like this. We headed south, past glaciers and vast and empty deserts of volcanic sand, and lagoons filled with icebergs. In June basically the whole stuff is covered with lupins, that make the scene even more dreamier. Our plan was to drive all the way to Reykjanes, to see the volcano as long as it's active. When we got there we met up with Jan and started to hike to the Overlook. It was incredible to see even from distance, to hear and feel the earth rumble and shake. I flew my drone almost straight to the crater, hovering just a couple of meters above the boiling lava. I was so fascinated by this. Definitely one of the most incredible things I've seen so far. This whole place felt like a real life movie set of Mordor. After two days at the volcano we made use of the good weather and drove into the highlands. We left our trusty van Wilma behind and joined Jan in his 4x4 transporter. The way to Landmanaloga was completely surreal. We drove at midnight and no one else was on the road through thick fog and rain before the incredible landscape of the highlands revealed.
Although I've been to Iceland a couple of times, it was my first time in the Highlands, and especially this area. So I was super excited for the upcoming days. At the base we fueled up before going on a hike for sunset. We hiked a mountain called Plan Yukur, or whatever it's pronounced. The translation means the Blue Peak, a dusty gravel volcano which offers an amazing view over the colorful landscape. When the sun began to set, everything was even more beautiful. A play of shadow and light on the different ridge lines. I really enjoyed using my telephoto here to find details in the landscape and sometimes even persons hiking along the trails. Later low clouds came rolling in and the sky was colored in beautiful pastel colors. Tired but happy we arrived down at the camp. The next day we said goodbye to Jan and took the Highland bus back to our van. It was time to continue our road trip along the south coast. As we changed our sleeping rhythm, we were able to be alone on all these hugely crowded spots. What I love most about Iceland is ending the day in one of these amazing hot springs and just let time fly by. We drove back to the glaciers to meet up with Frauke and Hannes and hike a canyon short but beautiful hike. This place was huge and really impressive. And yeah, the white dots are sheep crawling along the steep cliffs of the canyon. We waited until sunrise before heading back to the cars. Down at the vans we had some classic breakfast, ramen. Because we changed our sleeping rhythm, our eating rhythm was also kind of messed up. When traveling along the south coast, you pass many glacial outlets and rivers along your route. Those braided rivers are a beautiful mix of colors and patterns. And they seem unspectacular from ground, but once you get up in the air, the otherworldly beauty becomes visible.
Back on the road we followed the ring road to Snaffelsnes, a peninsula in the west of Iceland. Unfortunately the weather was only okay, we couldn't do much hiking as the wind was really brutal, even shaking our van during the nights. But from time to time the sun came through and for just a few minutes everything lit up in a beautiful light. We visited the iconic mountain Kirkjufell and prepared dinner at the car park next to it before continuing through the rain. In the next episode, we head to Northern Iceland and literally drove straight into a volcano. We went on an epic sailing tour to the northernmost island of Iceland during the midnight sun. We drove through the highlands, of course we got stuck. Went hiking in the east, and enjoyed the last days of summer before taking the ferry back to the Faroe Islands.